Hi friends and welcome to another fun video. Today I will use Dynamo to place out a Revit detail family in a view. More specifically, this detail family is a parametric X with a length and width parameter. I could of course do it manually, but where is the fun in that? I will use Dynamo to both place it in the concrete opening and adjust the width and length parameters to fit the opening. Start by opening a new Dynamo workspace. First, search for the uh, Select Face node. This handy tool lets you select a specific face from a Revit element or geometry. I'll use this selected surface to extract data that will guide both the placement and parameter adjustments of the detail family. Next, we need to gather all the lines defining the edges of the selected surface. For that, use the Surface Perimeter Curves node. This will output the perimeter lines of the surface, which I'll organize into a single list for easy manipulation. This is the wrong node. This will only get me the surface perimeter as one single curve. Let's find the correct one. Much better. I have all the lines as individual lines in my list. The flatten node in Dynamo is used to convert nested lists into a single level list by flattening all levels of hierarchy in the data structure. This is particularly useful when you have complex list structures with sublists and you want to work with the data as a single list. In this case, I want to work with the lines around the opening. To organize these lines, I use the list chop node to separate them into a single list. Since the opening consists of four lines, I set the length input of the node to four. This divides the list into two parts, one containing the lines of the opening and the other uh, representing the perimeter of the entire surface. Next, I need the lines for the opening in a single list. To achieve this, I use the list get item at index node to retrieve the first list so I can manipulate the data further as demonstrated when comparing the output values for the two nodes. I have successfully retrieved the lines for the concrete opening and only those lines are in a single list. The next step is to get the placement of our opening. The placement is exactly in the middle. So my solution is to join the lines and create a surface. The surface has the same dimensions and placement as the actual opening in the concrete slab. I'll turn off the preview geometry for all other nodes to keep the visualization clean and ensure only the last step remains visible. All right, I have joined the four lines into one single line or curve. Now I would like to create a surface based on that one single curve. We'll use the node surface by patch. And now I, will, I would like to get the point containing the X Y and C coordinate in the middle of the surface, I will use the node surface point at parameter. This node is used to find a specific point on a surface based on U and V parameters. These parameters are part of the surface's parametric domain, allowing precise control over where the point is located. One crucial task this Dynamo script will do is adjust the length and height parameters in the detail family to fit the opening. To do that, I need the length of the height and width of the existing opening. Once again, I will use get item at index node. The curve length node will get us the exact length of the width and height, which I will later feed into the detail item so it matches with the concrete slab opening. Double check the length we got. It seems about right. So now we have pointed out the parameters for length and height and the precise placement of our detail family. The last step is to actually place the family in the view I select. To do this, I will need a costume node from the package clockwork. So I will go ahead and install it. The package and all the nodes can be found in the menu on the right side under add-ons. The costume node I will be using from the clockwork package is family instance by point in view. The input values here are point, family type and view. The point I have connect them. The family type 
is the detail family I have previously created. And the view is the view I am standing in and would like the family to be placed in. In addition, I will be using the element set parameter by name to change the height and width values in the detail family so it will fit the width and height of the opening in the concrete slab. Go ahead and connect all the nodes together. This node in Dynamo is used to modify a specific parameter of a Revit element by directly setting its value. It's a powerful tool for automating and customizing Revit workflows. Important, the value in the string node matched the parameter in the family. Connect the curve length node with the element set parameter by name node and find the correct detail family in the family type drop down menu. The view node is actually wrong, so need to change the node to the node document active new from the current document. Hit run. As you can see, the detail item family is placed correctly in the center of the concrete slab opening with the correct height and length. Let's see if this was a coincidence by changing the concrete opening and run the Dynamo script again. Do it one more time. Increase the size. Hit run. Yeah, perfect. But what happens if the concrete slab contains more than one opening? I will only get the detail family in one of the openings. Need to edit the script so all our openings in the slab will get the X. First, let's move these nodes a little to the right to make room for the expanded nodes. Add an integer slider. This slider will adjust the number of holes in the slab from one to three. I could add more holes, but let us keep the number of holes to a maximum of three. Add the range node and a code block. These nodes will help me automate the process instead of manually typing in the numbers. So the get item at index node will just fetch the number zero, which will give us the four lines for our first opening. Okay, so we proceeded by copying all the nodes two times that will give us the option to have a total of three openings in the concrete slab. If there are more openings, copy the nodes more times. Let's test the script with three openings. Select the face and change the integer slider to two, meaning there is a total of three holes and hit run. Perfect, that is the end of this tutorial. If you found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.